Just as the Australian TV MasterChef series has been a runaway hit, the British version is just as watched, attracting millions each week. And the UK audiences are now very familiar with a Tasmanian chef, Ash Mayer, who's just won that most coveted prize and in the process catapulted his career in new and unpredictable directions. To get there, he had to impress some of the top chefs in Europe and he spoke to Philip Williams a few hours after his spectacular win. Our professional MasterChef champion is... Ash. Well, Ashmere, congratulations. You've virtually won a gold medal at the Olympics here, haven't you? <laughs> this is a really big deal here in the UK. Yeah, it's, um, it's huge. Very, I'm totally overwhelmed with it, but I'm massively happy, stoked, yeah. Tell me your reaction <laughs> when you heard those words, it was you. Um, it was just like every emotion at once. Um, yeah, it was like, it was all quite, all quite tired by the end of it. And then just to be announced as the winner, it was just like, wow, just like bang. Um, I just I didn't sink in. It's, it still hasn't sunk in now. Um, it's going to take a while, I think. Because this, whether you like it or not, this does change your life, doesn't it? Um, yeah. It's, it's changed my life already. Um, it's changed my life and my cooking already. It's made me think about things a lot more, but um, definitely now I'm gonna get a lot of opportunities. Um, it's gonna open some doors um, and the whole thing was worthwhile. Yeah, amazing. I've got a deep interest in food, tradition, and I, I'd like to share it with people um, by, by, f by feeding um, or writing about it. It's one thing I really wanna get into is the writing, get the information out there. Now, are you gonna be the next Jamie Oliver? Um, I don't really sort of um, strive to be a Jamie Oliver, so. That was very diplomatically put. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just sort of a, a bit of overload, bit of nothing against him. What he does is great, um, but there's been a lot of him over the years. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. I think it's a chef's dish. It's a song. It's perfect. I love it. If you cook food like that in a restaurant, you'd be busy every day. And there's a moment there where you're you're facing some of the top chefs in the world and you have to impress them. That must have been incredibly intimidating. Um, yeah, it was, it was amazing. Like, I, f I felt really honoured to just have the chance to cook for the chefs there. Like, but then you think you just don't want to get it wrong. And like, that stage of the competition was an area which I, I probably didn't plan quite enough. I was in trouble. Um, but finally got the food out in the end and they loved it and I was just it was amazing to be standing there and having them applaud what we'd done that night so. It was pretty clear that you were the standout yours your food was the one that everybody universally said this is magnificent. That seems to be the, the situation there that I was the standout but I think um, the competition was very high and the other chefs were fantastic as well and I was just a few details at the end of it, just I came out on top, but like respect to the other guys because they're amazing as well. So. If you'd messed up one thing, that could have been it. Yeah, I mean, there's no room for error, especially that, that stage of the competition right at the end, everything has to be spot on or it's just like game over. Yeah. Ash, you're feeling the pressure, aren't you? Gonna be in trouble soon. You better put the turbo on. Tell me about that pressure, that do or die pressure. Um, yeah, I mean, in the I've been in this situation in kitchens a lot where you really got to get the food out, and it's um I felt under pressure through most of the competition, obviously to get the quality there. But I'm I'm quite used to pressure. I do a lot of like high, you know, numbered jobs. We're cooking for like five, six hundred people, and there's a lot of pressure there. So I think that that helped me. Um, I like to work quite sort of. I like to plan ahead a lot as well. <laughs> where have you been hiding all this time? Hey, your food is outstanding. Ash has got a gift, the gift of culinary genius. People might expect that somebody of your standing might have their own fancy restaurant here in London, but actually you're, you're working for a catering company. Is that, a, does that, is that where you want to be? Um, yeah, there's been a few comments about, like, what are you doing, canapes or whatever for 3,000 people. Um, I enjoy it. But yeah, I'll probably move on soon, get back into sort of cooking for smaller numbers, be able to spend a bit more time on the food. Your own restaurant? Possibly, we'll see, it's under wraps. Suddenly, you're a, you're a celebrity. You've gone from being a catering chef, not really yeah. known, 
Now you're, you cannot walk down a street now without people recognising you. Yeah. How does that feel? Oh, it's, yeah, it's quite weird. It's, um, yeah, because I always used to laugh about, like, football players and I would say to my girlfriend, like, they can't even go buy a carton of milk without someone, like, coming and saying something. It was, like, the, one of the first days after I'd been on the, um, the show had been broadcast, I went down to the shop to buy a carton of milk and, like, someone in the line, hey, aren't you Ashraf Master Chef? And I was just, like, I laughed. I had to laugh. This is definitely the biggest thing in my life. That's amazing. Completely amazing. It's a long way from the, the, the boy in Tasmania, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's a, some big changes from like cooking in Tasmania, but it's, it's in my heart. And um, yeah, I might be doing some cooking there as well at some stage, so. You yeah. think one day you'll go back, open your own place perhaps? Possibly, but I've got a lot more to show you in this part of the world first. Well, thank you for sharing your success with us. Thank Congratulations. You. And we look forward to seeing your name in books and, and, and uh, TV series, whatever yeah. it is. <laughs> Possibly soon. We'll see. But thank you. Ash Mayer talking to our Europe correspondent, Philip Williams, there. Well, now it's time for Sport.